I mean, I think you're asking me that question that Kant basically was trying to get at was, can we know the thing in itself? Can we know that? Can we have like some kind of like intense knowing of it? It's almost mystical. Um, And I would say that that's where religion comes in. Okay. That's where we talk about religion. Um, And if I may also go back to Immanuel Kant, this idea that he just before he died, just as he died, he was working on, he did this critique of reason where basically he believed, he he basically um, talks about, can we know what's real? And he basically has this long, you know, that question, can we know what's real? And then, you know, a thousand pages later, n- no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just give you the rundown, okay? So, okay, Spoiler no. Alert. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, then he does this other uh, critique. And, um, okay, so he does like three c- critiques. Then he does this critique of judgment, okay? Well, judgment is this other thing altogether. And I think that that's what you're getting at. So how do we know things? How can we know things really intensely and intimately? And I think that he thought that judgment was the idea that we can actually... Um, know the thing in itself. And he was working on that as he died, and then he never finished it. Hannah Arendt, uh, another philosopher of the 20th century, took it up, took up the critique of judgment and tried to finish it. Uh, Why the word judgment? Because judgment, think about it. When you see a work of art, who judges that to be decent? Okay, so there is um, a group of people who come to the decision that, that's rotten. Or, you know, that's pretty good. You know, like, um, I noticed that you like to play guitar. Mm-hmm. Well, you choose music that I happen to like too, okay? <laughs> so you and I both have a, you know, yeah. sense of judgment. It's a sense. Yeah. So he said there's a sense that some people have. Why do certain communities have a similar sense? What what dictates that? And so he was working on that. He, he thought it had something to do with the knowledge, the intimate knowledge of the thing in itself. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. So uh, another um, philosopher that philosophers actually don't like at all, but religious studies people do, is uh, Martin Heidegger. So Martin Heidegger um, has some great essays. One is called What is a Work of Art? And again, he gets to, you know, he talks about Van Gogh and Van Gogh's shoes. You know that picture, the the painting Van Gogh's shoes? It's really a really intense picture. It's just shoes. It's, you know, it's, but it's, a, it's an amazing painting of shoes. And I think everybody can agree. That's a cool picture of shoes, right? And so why? You know, the question is, why is that a cool picture of shoes? Yeah. You know, what kind of knowledge are we accessing to determine that indeed that that works, right? And in yeah. fact, we still like it. So basically, the, the nature of knowledge and what does it represent? It can operate in the space of that's detached from reality or can it ultimately represent reality? I guess that's the is that that's the space of metaphysics. Is that the, is that the, um, yeah? So what can we know is actually called epistemology. Epistemology. But metaphysics is the um, the, I guess. is basically what is the nature of reality. Right, and those intersect. Absolutely, right. yeah. A lot of things intersect in philosophy. We just have fancy names for them.